Now at 11, new concerns about one of the drugs mentioned to possibly treat COVID-19. President Trump first brought up hydroxychloroquine in a news conference last week. Now the Florida Pharmacy Association says several of their pharmacies have reported their supply is gone, leaving many patients who rely on it worried. News 6's Nikki Zizaza spoke with one woman who says she needs it in a story all new at 11. She tells me without this drug, she may have to walk with a cane. For the past two weeks, she's been trying to get it refilled. However, it's been out of stock. But in the nick of time, she got a call before she ran out saying the drug was in. Heather Cantrell says she was down to five pills before her supply would have been out. And so I immediately submitted for my refill. I used my app and it immediately came back of out of stock. Hydroxychloroquine, the drug that has been keeping her rheumatoid arthritis in check for more than a decade, now facing a shortage. I'm afraid that I won't be able to do my daily tasks on a regular basis. For me, getting out of bed is the hardest job I have every day. The cosmetologist says after she heard her medication mentioned on TV as a possible treatment for COVID-19, she had a feeling she would be unable to get her prescription filled. And it's not the pharmacy's fault. They can't get it. This statement issued to News 6 by Florida Pharmacy Association says in quote, nearly all of the new prescriptions for hydroxychloroquine are being issued for purposes other than what these drugs are indicated for. It goes on to say, we are very concerned with this practice of stockpiling of medications for use on patients who may not be ill. Encouraging words, Cantrell says she hopes will remedy the problem for those still in need of the life preserving drug. Be assertive, be aggressive with it, call all of the pharmacies in town and just be patient. Now the Florida Pharmacy Association is calling for the governor to take action to avoid a public health crisis for those who need this drug. Reporting in Orlando, Nikki Zaza, getting results, News 6.